Tonight, several people met for a community forum on how to stop gun violence in Providence. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner was at the meeting tonight. New at 10, he continues our in-depth coverage live from the mobile newsroom. Yeah, Mike and Shannon, a well-timed community meeting on violence across the capital city and its many impacts. An authority on nonviolence spoke forthrightly and directly to us about this Oxford Street shooting. Tenny Gross, a prominent face in the ongoing effort to spread messages of peace and nonviolence across Providence. Incidentally, Gross was a panelist Thursday night at Wands Cook Library speaking at a community forum on violence, and he had a very clear message for Francisco Diaz still unaccounted for. What I would recommend to him is to surrender himself. Call a lawyer, get yourself turned in. It's safer for the police officers and safer for you and everyone around you. And Gross tells Eyewitness News he believes Diaz is in a familiar place. What happens in the movie where you walk into a, to an airline and buy a ticket to Mongolia and you're gone and you start a new life is not an option for the people we work with. No, they're going to go to a few places that are willing to help them. Gross says his team of so-called street workers responded to the hospital Wednesday night and the nonprofit's victim services followed up Thursday. Gross also shared his belief that this shooting further bolsters the city's mission of getting guns out of the wrong hands. If there were less guns on the streets. What would this have been? A knife, a fist fight, maybe nothing, maybe verbal. And as it turned out, police say the shooting happened mere blocks from Gross's center. Live tonight, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News.